it me or is it when your boyfriend literally like he sits so far back anyway we're going to a midnight run we're gonna go to cvs i have this skincare routine like every night i have to do step by step it might be ocd i really don't know it could be ocd but um i literally have to do everything before i go to sleep otherwise i feel incomplete okay this may sound fucking insane but hear me out when i brush my teeth and everything i have to brush my teeth scrape my tongue floss listerine strips and then after that i use cold water like immediately after i did listerine strip i know that sounds crazy i know it sounds insane that's like that's like drinking water with mint gum i know but it makes me feel better about my oral hygiene so don't judge me another thing you guys probably noticed i have a new instagram name and youtube name and honestly that's because i was scared that i was gonna get sued by the spice girls because my name was og spice girl if you knew me from the beginning like i put my name as og spice girl or spice girl or whatever but then i realized like wait this is not this may not work out for me in the future let's not do that and let's come up with something original you know um so yeah i changed my name to zoe vibes because i feel like Zoe just vibes and my vibes are immaculate so why not um, also I got this new camera and I don't know if you can tell but it's a Sony ZV-1 is it ZV? yeah ZV-1 and I'm really happy with it I could not like my camera was so big it was so bulky I couldn't even hold the camera up like I'm holding this one up now I'm holding this up on a tripod little mini stick I could fit this camera in my pocket and I just feel like it's way more convenient for me. It's way better quality. I believe the camera I had was, um, I think it was a T7 or something along those lines. And I think it came out in like 2014. It wasn't, the camera was, it seemed like it was just something that I had and it worked out for me. It was better than using my phone. So that's why I used it. I'm very happy I traded this in and um, really excited to film with it in the future. And if you're wondering, my skin looks amazing. I'm using this Snell Mucin. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, long story. I'm gonna make it short though. I was looking at skincare in general because my skin had been having the worst time and I was like you know I need to find something I've tried all the American brands Ugh, for Christ's sake I worked in Sephora and so I knew half of the shit in there did not work for me so you know what let's let's try out of the country skincare let's try Korean skincare and I was talking to all my friends about it and they were like it's a rabbit hole be careful you know it, it's it's a lot it's over it can be overwhelming I found the snail mucin about a month ago and this is right before it went viral and I was like I have to buy it so I had added it in my cart it was on Amazon it was $24 a bottle and I was like this is really expensive and then it went viral on TikTok and I was like oh, it's viral on TikTok now everyone's gonna have it god damn it so I ended up not buying it off Amazon. I bought it off of TikTok shop. I bought the, the cleanser and I bought the essence off TikTok shop. Now, when I tried to find the moisturizer and everything, I could not find it. For the life of me, I couldn't find it. And it was frustrating. I was like, bro, they're selling only two products. Why can't I find anything else? And I ended up going on a shopping spree with my mom and TJ Maxx. And guess where I found it? I found it in the beauty department. I tried to gatekeep this, but I was just like, you know, there's probably a girl like me who really needs skincare right now. And I would only be doing her justice by letting people know where I got it from. So I posted it on my TikTok page. It was like, hey, go to TJ Maxx. It's there, I promise. But look at that. This, These are the lights from the CVS glowing on my skin. Ugh. Anyway, let's go in. I'm very used to this camera because it's so different than the buttons that I'm used to having. So, um, yeah. Let's 
CVS 24 hours. I love it. Oh, yeah. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to stay consistent. It's so hard to stay consistent. Yeah, Instagram and TikTok. Facebook. Yeah. Why not? I mean, TikTok is a good place to start. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he was so sweet. Oh my god. The strange strips, and I need a tongue scrub, bro. Eight dollars for a tongue scrub. That's a cheeseburger and some fries. You know what? And call it a day. We're back in the car. Ugh. Okay, lock the doors. No one's in here. We're good. Okay. Anyway, I'm so glad that was that wasn't awkward doing that because usually people would just make it weird for you when you're trying to vlog. They know what you're doing. They just, they haven't seen it in 4K before, like in real life. So, it's a wrap for you, baby. It's a wrap. I really want to see what California is really like because I'm from the East Coast. So, all I get is television, House Hollywood television, like vibe I don't really get the full picture and a lot of the times when I'm looking at those videos and I see reaction videos and people actually live there they're like that is only 30% of Hollywood the other 70% that you don't see is absolutely gross I also heard there's a lot of Botox and facial construction happening like I remember the first time I was bartending and I saw someone that came from California they were very popular and um, I just remember seeing their face it was just very it was plastic surgery and I had never in my life seen because I'm from the East Coast plastic surgery isn't really a thing over here it, you over here is more Botox and um, Botox, lip fillers, and maybe an eye lift. That is the most you see over here. But when I saw that lady, she had the whole set. I mean, her face was tight. I was like, oh my gosh, like that's, that's what it looks like when it's not on camera? That's actually kind of scary. <laughs> that was actually insane. I have never seen anybody have plastic surgery like that before, so. They say that that's everywhere, and that's almost every face you see in California. So I'll, I will be gawking at people when I go there. How is it living in Maryland? This is also a common question that I get from a lot of people versus living in DC. Honestly, this is probably the calmest I've ever felt in a long time. And as a Washingtonian or whatever you call it, I don't know what people be saying nowadays. It's so rowdy, but I grew up in it. So I didn't know that DC was rowdy. I just, I knew it was just home. So when I came out here and all the roads lead to one place, there's barely any traffic out here. Suburban area, quiet, picket fence, families everywhere, dogs everywhere. They, this was kind of trippy to me because I was like, this is not, we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. And I, now I'm kind of used to it. When I moved out to Rockville and I got the feel for a more stable, consistent, calmer life, I liked it. It felt stable to me. It felt grounding to me. And then I went to DC just to like see my family again. I've never felt so much anxiety in my life. Like I'm talking, I was I was looking around like don't fucking touch me. I'm freaking out type of anxiety. And it just made me realize like I grew up in the one of the rowdiest cities in the US. I do miss DC, I do, don't get me wrong. I miss Southeast DC, I miss Anacostia area, I miss all of DC in general. But um I feel better here. I don't have as much anxiety anymore as I used to. 
I can't wait to get this cold glass of water. Oh my gosh. Oh, bet. Oh, bet the parking spot's still there. Let's go. I always get, I'm, I have lucky girl syndrome. I know that's been trending around on social media lately. Oh, lucky girl syndrome. No, I've had lucky girl syndrome since I was a child. I remember going to see the Wizard of Oz at Duke Ellington because every year Duke Ellington has, high school has um, a play or um, some showcase happening. And I didn't have tickets. My parent and I did not have tickets. And I was like, we're gonna get in, period. Cause I am going to meet Dorothy. Parent was like, we're not gonna get in. We're not gonna get in. You know how many people paid to get tickets to go to this show? Like this is the most popular show happening in DC right now, whatever, whatever. And I was like, no, I'm telling you, I will be in there. And I'm gonna be front row seats. And I'm gonna see Dorothy. One lady came up, her husband didn't come. She was like, here you go, here's your ticket. Another couple came up. Hey, we bought one extra ticket by accident. Here you go. Your shoddy was on the front row. I was at the front row. Dorothy was in my peripheral vision. She was looking at me. I was looking at her. Like, we were, I was there. And my parent was like, man, you just got lucky. You know, I said, lucky girl syndrome ain't just luck. It's belief. It's the Lulu. Being the Lulu, like, you have to be the Lulu. That's the only way you're going to make it. At the end of the show, Everyone gets up, everyone's trying to rush out of the theater. I'm like, oh, we're not going anywhere. I said, Dorothy will be standing right here. I'm gonna get a picture with her and an autograph. Parent again, talking about some, it's too many people, it's gonna be so many people trying to get pictures with her, you're not gonna do it, you're not gonna do it. I open the door, she's right in front of me. I said, then I say I'm gonna get an autograph and a photo from Dorothy, I did. Or she was standing right there. Nobody was around her. I was like, okay, it's my time. Took a picture with her. You know, had a few conversations here and there, got my autograph, and I did. I had no tickets, got in there for the free front row seats, and I got pictures and autographs. Lucky girl syndrome is not luck. It is straight the Lulu, and it's straight belief. I've been waiting so long for this moment. I can have this moment for life. Got the list rain strips. The plan is, wait, I didn't wash my hair. I'm so glad you guys came on this adventure with me. I know it was kind of weird and random. I got a new camera and I was really excited and I was like, I gotta go to CVS. Why not film? Ready? It's like a reward. It's really spicy. Like really spicy. It's like a goddamn glacier. If you have not subscribed to this channel, why not do it now? Like it's, it's right there. It's right there if you're not following my instagram or my twitter or my tiktok or whatever account don't be shy why not why not vibe with me all the time if you like this video give it a thumbs up or not it's up to you um but thank you for watching i'll catch you guys later bye